Okay. <sighs> hey guys, welcome back. It's been a while. If you are new here, then welcome to my family channel. My name's Chrissy and I, man, it's been kind of crazy. If you are not new here and you've been around for a while, then you know we um, built a house back in South Carolina and we moved in in January. It was actually probably my last two videos that I filmed. We moved in in January and then in August, um, moved to Florida. So we're in Florida and I am going to take you on a tour of our new home. I, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to actually link my blog post down below in the description and you can read about how we got here. But if you want the reader's digest version, my husband is a student pastor and he I mean, long story short, we just felt like the Lord was calling us here. Um, there are some people that have been really influential in my husband's life as he was growing up that actually planted a church years back and they kind of been um, asking him to pray about coming and serving alongside of them. So man, it was a brutal, brutal decision if I'm being honest, because um, all my family is back in South Carolina. but. His family is here, so that's the good news. But anyways, I will link that blog post down below. If you're detail oriented like me, you like details, maybe you're just a little bit nosy, you can go read that and it'll give some explanations as to the road that we took to get here. So a little bit about this house. It's actually, I don't know, a God story, um, kind of ironic. Uh, this house that we are in that we bought is actually the house right next to the house that Michael lived in growing up. So his parents, they lived there for 30 something years and um, they recently, within the past year, sold their house and moved like five houses down into Michael's grandmother's house. And we, it took us a while. We actually lived with them for a while when we moved here, but um, put in a couple offers on some different homes. They fell through. Um, have you tried to buy a house lately? It is insane. I'm pretty sure it's not just here. I'm pretty sure it's everywhere. The market now is just, it's just nutty. We had just, you know, been denied an offer on a house and then literally the next day, this house came on the market, pulled it up online, and it was everything that we needed and a little bit more, which I'll show you in a second. Needed some love, but wasn't anything that we couldn't, you know, do. And so we actually called them on the phone, the people that own this house. And we were like, hey, we need your house. Will you sell us your house? Anyways, long story short, God is good. And we are now in our new home. So I'm going to take you around the house. I'm going to preface this by saying, if you follow me on Instagram, I've said this. Um, if you don't, you should. But I'll say it again, this is nowhere near a put together home tour. There's not gonna be any fa anything fancy about it. We are still moving in. We've been in for a couple weeks. There's still piles here, piles there. Stuff isn't really where it's gonna stay. But I'll walk you through the house and I'll kind of show you what we're doing, what we plan to do. If you have any like visions or ideas as we walk through, then leave them down below. Let's jump on it. Okay, I will say this before we start too. The lighting in this house is pretty horrendous. I like to just say that it's cozy, but it's it's pretty dark. So if the picture looks dark, I try to adjust it as much as I can from my end on the camera, but I'm sorry if it's a little bit dark and the lighting gets a little bit wonky, but anywho, let's get started. Okay, so when you walk through our front door, this is our entryway. Um, we were actually super thankful moving into this house that all of our furniture from our last home fit like perfectly in certain areas. So this is our entryway. I, I think I got these 
from Amazon. They were like 10 bucks for a pack of 10. So you'll see those kind of throughout the house. Also another thing, fun fact about Florida homes, if it is not a new build, you will probably have tile, um, which I guess if we were gonna have tile, this is what I would choose. However, hopefully um, in the near future, we can, you know, lay some LVP down or something like that. But anywho, so that was the entryway. And then we have our entryway table. And I don't know who this little boy is, but he is super cute. <laughs> I haven't found my pictures yet. They're probably in like the storage shed. So our entryway. And then I'll try to walk slow too. So this is our living room. When I pulled up the listing online and saw the brick fireplace, I was pretty much like 95% sold. Um, it just, I don't know. It reminds me of my home growing up. It's, it reminds me of, you know, being in the South, even though it's non-functioning and honestly, we don't really need a fireplace for warmth here in Florida, but I don't know. I just love it. I think it's, I think it's super pretty. This little area is not gonna stay. I think right here we want to do like a really long sort of desk, workstation type of situation with like a gallery wall on top. But if you have another idea for, you know, taking up space on a really long wall, then you can let me know. But I think it would be nice to have a place for Michael and I to kind of sit and get some stuff done. The girls can sit and do their homework also. But yeah, if you have any ideas, leave them down below. Okay, let's actually go in here first. So this room is actually, so the reason I say it's so dark, there's literally no light up here. So I think we're gonna add maybe a fan. It is Florida, so we need fans everywhere. This room also, uh, when we bought it, they had a fan right here, but they also had a couch underneath it. And Michael hit his head, like it grazed the top of his hat when we were walking through this house. So that came down like move in day. So we will probably add a light right there. But other than that, all we have is the light from the windows, which is totally fine. But this is the girl's playroom slash kind of hangout area. I actually am obsessed with this table. I scored it on Facebook Marketplace before we ever bought the house or before we ever moved into the house. And the girls sit here, Brooklyn sits here almost all afternoon and they color, they do their homework, they can paint and stuff here and I won't worry about it getting damaged as opposed to our kitchen table. And it actually comes with a leaf. So, you know, if we ever had people over or kids over, they can sit in here and eat. I would really like to get a nugget. <laughs> I'm familiar with what a nugget is. It's just like a modular little kid's sofa that they can, I mean, you can build forts out of them and everything and put it right there so they can watch movies. And then right here, these are actually so big and I would open them and show you, but it would be too dark. You wouldn't be able to see, but they go back. I mean, you could literally probably make a bedroom on the other side of those doors. All right, so then we will walk into our kitchen. And like I said, it was the houses that we had looked at, this table wouldn't have fit. And we just bought this table. So I was gonna be heartbroken if it didn't fit. This is our kitchen. <laughs> and when we bought the house, if I can find a picture, I'll actually like insert it down here or somewhere. But we bought the house, there was a wall. So where this board is, there was a wall that went all the way to like right where my finger is. So there was like a doorway into the kitchen. At the weekend that we moved in or that we closed on this house, I actually had to leave to go back to South Carolina. And when I came home, my sweet husband had knocked the wall down and my brother-in-law has been building this island for us. So we knew we wanted extra seating because we like to have people over. And one of the things that this house lacked that our last house had that we really enjoyed was an island. I mean, my kids eat breakfast there. They do their homework there. They just, that's kind of where they hang out. And so we knew we wanted an island. So we just decided to bust that wall out and have one built. He also hung these lights for us, which was super nice. So the chairs actually go all the way around, but 
we had to replace tile down here so that's why they kind of look a little bit wonky i have stained this this is just butcher block i think from i don't know lowe's or home depot i've stained it twice i need to sand it and stain it again so it is not done which is why it is not styled but i also plan on hanging i don't know probably two shelves right there just to have some open shelving but this is our kitchen so i do not love the backsplash nor do i love the countertops i have already changed out the hardware so we will probably end up either just completely replacing the backsplash or i will try to put something over it i don't know yet but right now our goal is to just get the island done um I actually need to replace that rug too because that was left. If any of you have any ideas, we feel like this is kind of like bare. I don't know. I kind of thought about doing some seating, like a built-in bench. Then the cabinet probably wouldn't open very well. So I don't know if anything comes to your mind about what we can put here, let me know. I guess we will go this way. Okay, now this door leads to a little room that Honestly, all of our cleaning stuff is in, some overflow of stuff. It needs a complete rehaul, but I will show you what it looks like. Our water heater is in here. So this is another room that needs a lot of TLC, but there's storage up there, which is nice. I don't know. I'm probably going to get like a bookshelf or something, another, and then maybe like a curtain. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. Now... <laughs> This is going into our master bathroom, which is a little odd, but it works. And I'll, sh I'll tell you why it works here in a little bit. But this is our toilet. <laughs> Nothing fancy about it. Again, more tile. Our shower is right here. Again, nothing fancy. And then our vanity area. This is actually another thing that we are probably going to replace doesn't really make much sense as to why it's not a <laughs> double vanity but we are probably going to replace this and then you come into our master bedroom and really the only thing those are um sliding doors that lead to like a little patio out there and i'll take you outside in a second but the only really big thing in this room that we need to change is um we're going to change this fan we're going to replace it the box is actually down there but this room stays kind of warm and this fan just wasn't cutting it so and then also probably going to change out this is our closet but it is a small closet it is like your typical you know this house was built gosh i don't 30 something years ago so i'll actually show you what we have in there right now so it is very small this is actually like covering our duct, <laughs> our air duct. Unfortunately, that can't be taken out. And there's some shelving on the side, so it's not awful, but I'll kind of show you where we've made up for lack of master closet space. Um, one area is, we were gifted that <laughs> for free actually from a friend we go to church with. He was getting rid of it, and so I was like, uh, yeah, we're gonna need that because <laughs> we don't have much closet space. So, again, some more boxes that need to go elsewhere. Um, but yeah, so this is our master bedroom. And I'm going to take you out in the hallway and show you the girls' room. But don't mind that noise. Um, when you live by the lake in Florida, you apparently have a really, really bad bug problem. So he is spraying our house. This is Addie's room. You know, pretty simple. I'm not really done in here yet. Um, you, you can show him your doggy, but she has two good size closets right there. So I'll show you the girls' bathroom. This bathroom is also going to get their oh, wet, so their wet bathing suits from last night. Um, this bathroom is also going to get a complete kind of overhaul. We're gonna get rid of this. We're gonna the shower and bath need to be redone. I'm gonna get a new mirror new lighting all the things but this is what we're working with working with for now an odd thing about this bathroom too is 
there are absolutely no outlets, which is totally strange to me, but anywho, we'll probably eventually have to stick an outlet in there too. So this is Brooklyn and McKenzie's room. They love sharing a room. I don't think I would, I could ever probably get Brooklyn to move out of here. <laughs> I keep asking her, are you sure you don't want your own room? You sure you don't want your own room? And she doesn't, so I'm obsessed with these beds. So their last beds were a bunk bed that converted to twin beds from Walmart and they just weren't the greatest. I mean, you get what you pay for because they were super cheap, but these beds I actually got from Amazon and I was actually pretty worried about it because <laughs> there were no reviews. It just, it didn't look super legit, but they came and I love them. And if I can find the link, if, if it's still there, um, I will link them below, but I love it because it has that just really pretty traditional spindle look, but it's not metal, um, it's wood. And I didn't want metal because all I kept seeing in my head was one of my girls jumping and busting their head. I don't know, don't ask me why I think that way, but um, <laughs> I do, but I love them. Um, they are great quality and honestly, I see them lasting for a really, really, really long time. So. They have this little desk area and then on this side is their dresser their bookshelf and I'll show you this is actually totally not fair um, considering the master closet I just showed you but they have a massive closet I mean come on what the heck <laughs> anyways so it's one of the reasons why they have this room because it has a massive closet that they can share so All right, and then we're back around to the front of the house. So our house is just kind of like a big U shape. Kind of does a big circle. So I will take you outside. I was actually pretty worried when we moved here about how my girls would adjust. Let me get this key because we leave it up here, you know, safety reasons. I was a little bit worried. Well, I thought it was up there. Oh, I left it in the door. I was a little bit worried when we moved here about how my girls would adjust. And so when we told them that we were moving to Florida, their main concern was when we were gonna get to go to Disney, which we're about an hour from Disney, which is really nice. And then the other concern they had was if we were gonna have a pool. And I couldn't promise them a pool. Although, like I said, it's Florida. A lot of people do have pools. Um, but we were able to give them a pool. Like I said, stuff is kind of everywhere out here. It's actually kind of a mess, but this is our laundry room. Yes, it's outside and yes, it is hot. You know, you do what you gotta do. So this is laundry and then we keep kind of like our swimming. I don't know why that uh, that's up there because I was cleaning their shoes <laughs> in here last night. And so we keep, you know, sunscreen, beach towels, goggles, that kind of stuff right there. Okay, don't mind this. They actually had this, um, the sellers before us had this right here. And so I'm probably gonna put that in that massive closet in the playroom that I told you guys. But the sellers, they were super kind um, and left their couch and this table and this rug and they actually left their washer and dryer. So we need to donate those probably. They left their table, which was super nice, and their pool. And we are actually in the process of getting this pool switched from chlorine to salt water. So it's just more cost effective, it's less maintenance, it's healthier. We actually have a very large storage area in there. And that was Michael's house growing up, isn't that funny? Um, another funny thing about Florida is that everything's screened in. <laughs> Hello bugs. And then my battery is gonna die. But we have this shed outside, which I wanted to paint pink and make it a playhouse, but you know, we would probably have to put air in it. <laughs> and I don't know, I don't know if that would be worth it. And then this is the little patio that is right off of our master bedroom. And yes, they left their hot tub, which is, which was super kind also. 
And fun fact, this was a gift from our <laughs> neighbor. She's in seventh grade and she, she loves coming and hanging out with the girls and she brought this over one day and Addie has lovingly named her Mingo. <laughs> So what I was gonna say about how strange it is that we have a toilet, literally if you go through this door, our master toilet is like right there. But it is nice when the girls are getting out of the pool or they get out and have to go to the bathroom, they can just go right there to that toilet. But yeah, you guys, that's it. That's in our home, hope you enjoyed it. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave us a comment down below, and I missed you guys. I'm excited to be back. It's been kind of a whirlwind, as you can imagine. Like I said, happy to be back. Happy to see you guys again. I guess we'll see you in our next video. Bye.